Oh, hello everybody and welcome to another page in our Tim Holtz uh, ledger paper folio. This is the one, I think this is the one I'm doing in advance. Definitely that was and that was, oh no, <laughs> this is the one we're going to work on today. And we're going to make it somewhat similar to this one here. Um, this is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. These are Stampers Anonymous stamps and then just, uh, well, there's some field note stamps around there as well, actually. Pretty hard to see, to be honest. They don't come out the clearest. Um, and then some flowers that I added. So that's what we're going to be aiming for today, something along those lines. Uh, so the piece of ephemera I've found that I want to use is this. It's actually you know, a good lot shorter than, than that, but we'll see how we go as we progress uh, so that's that one so this is this one that this is going into and it's going in there and I've already cut myself a piece of mixed media card which fits in there yes it does fits perfectly so that's fine so let's get on with it then well it'll come as no surprise that I'm actually going to use <laughs> <laughs> the distress paints again um i don't have a blue this color blue so i'm going to use my uncharted mariner again because that's the nearest and i don't think it'll look bad i think it'll be fine um i've put all my paints in a nice little tray look at that so i'm going to use the uncharted mariner it has got some yellow in it this so I might use a bit of mustard seed. Um, what else shall I use? I found my speckled egg one that I had bought some time ago. What about those? I think they're quite nice actually. The problem is I'm going to get green, but that's all right. We'll, we'll live with that. We'll live with it. Okay, so I'm going to save that till the end because we know what happens it dominates everything give these a bit of a shake and yeah when I first got this paint I bought it as a standalone I just bought the um, speckled egg and I, I must be honest with you I, I didn't even know what it was about it just seemed like very thin acrylic to me Let's see how we get on with this. As I say, I'm expecting to get some sort of green, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't, didn't smoosh it with my uh, water, did I? Forgot to do that bit. The speckled egg's still standing up to it, which is amazing. This paint is amazing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's just gorge. Just gorgeous. Yeah, there we go. That's really nice. I like that. A little bit down there that could do with a bit of extra help, I think. There we are. Lovely. Right, where's my bits of mop-up paper? Oh, I don't know. Can't, can't see them. Can't see them. Where are you? Oh, there's a bit there. Look at that. That's <laughs> nice, isn't it? So let's just drag that through there. Pick up what we can so we're not wasting it. And these will come in for little labels. All sorts of things, actually. Just a base to build on. Yeah, there we go. That's looking lovely. I love I love the look of that actually, and it's 
it's kind of free because we've used what we wanted to use. Right. So I'm, I mean, I'm amazed at the bits of uh, speckled egg we've got still standing up to that. It's done really well. I was going to dry that. I'll see you in a sec. Right. Oh, I think that's pretty dry now. That might be a bit damp, but overall we're okay. So I'm just, I'm going to go sparingly with this. Uh, I want to call him the ancient mariner. I know he's called uncharted mariner. So I'm just going to put that down, three little dots, add some water to them. And let's just see where we go with this. Because it is a very, it's a strong colour, really strong colour. Right, I've got a lot of paint up here, so let's just add some water to that, get it to move around a bit. And it's beginning to look a bit better now. I need this to move just a touch. much much better got a lot of water on there actually and a lot of paint in some areas let's move that around a little bit Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. I quite like that, actually. So let's leave that there for a second. Let's mop this lot up. Let's use the same card. It's beginning to look really interesting, this one. But all I'm going to get from there, but looking nice. It's amazing that all the water that we've put on, it hasn't moved at all, the background, because the background was dried. So it stayed exactly where it was. It's, it's just incredible. I'm just going to move that out a little bit. Yeah, I quite like that. I've got quite a chunk of paint up there. Where's my blue roll? That's what's needed, isn't it? Here it is. Let's just go into there like that. That's better. That's much better, isn't it? Well, I think it is anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm just going to dry that then. Right then. Well, this is dry. If that's what I was doing, I can't even remember what I was doing. Um, this is a piece that I thought that I would put in the middle there. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's just too small just gets lost. So I've looked at some other pieces of ephemera, Timmy ephemera that's got butterflies on, this one, but I'd have to lose a fair bit of it and I, I don't want to, I don't want it coming all right across. So I also found this one and I think that's probably about the right size, but it's very, very plain looking, I think. Um, so I think it needs a bit of bejazzling. So what I'm going to do is, I've looked at some of these uh, stains. These are the same as the sprays that you get. 
uh, they used to make them like this before they made the the sprays um, so I'm going to get my piece of cellophane out that I've been using um, to transfer stain from one place to another and I've, I've got just had to use the colours I've got I've got uh, squeezed lemonade so let's try that put a bit of that out I've got faded jeans put a little bit of that out and I've also got broken china which is a color I have never used before I don't even not even sure what color it is oh it's a sort of turquoise color that's good that'll go with what we've got going on I think that that will be enough um, just gonna spritz it this is, I really don't know what I'm doing here so <laughs> could go right could go wrong right that's part of my cellophane bag but they're in rather big splotches so what I'm going to do is just bring the rest of my cellophane bag over squash that down a bit yeah that's I quite like that effect this bit here so let's let's just be brave dip this in and see what happens Well, it's certainly getting a little bit of colour on it, not dramatic amounts. Let's try the other side. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, it is better. Now I could do with some real bits of colour on it. I'm getting brave or foolish now. No, that's it's not foolish. Who said foolish? Not foolish at all. Let's try this broken china again. Just going to add a bit of water to that. That's That's great. That's exactly fine. Yes. So let's just get a piece of our mop up paper. Let's mop this ink up. There we go. I'm just going to leave that out because. I just want to see what actual spray stains I've got. I've got mustard seed. Right, let's try this then. Just, I just want some splats. Like that. That's, oh yeah, that's great. Don't want any more than that, I don't think. Oh, it's complicated. Bit of this, bit of that. It's like cooking, isn't it? Right, so... Move that to one side. That cellophane, I tell you, it's just a, you know, cellophane bag. Something came in. I've had so much use out of it. Uh, right. Do I want to splatter that with water or not? Hmm. Well, what the heck? I'm just going to put some on my hand. Let's see what I get. Did any land on it? Maybe the smallest amount. Mm. I quite like what's happened to the yellow there. I'm not going to alter that. I really like that. I'm going to just dry it. That's turned out really nicely, hasn't it? Well, you can't see it because you're quite way away. But it's, yeah. It's a mate for this one, definitely. A 
do like those splotches of mustard seed we put on at the end. It's brought it to life. It's pretty dry. Okay, so now I'm going to go around it with um, a dark ink, which is ground espresso, I believe. Yep, ground espresso. And just and darken both of these up. I'm going to have to clean this first. Right, so let's just go around this. Just so it stands out from the background, because actually it all, it all looks quite nice together. That worked out so well actually just from the colours that was available to me you could use different coloured ink here if you've got you know if you're doing this and you've got uncharted Uncharted Territory, I can't get that name right at all. Uncharted Mariner, uh, then you could probably go around it in that and it would look really nice. But anyway, there we have it. Let's pop that on there. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's lovely. Whew, so now we need to work out where the centre is. That's just... To use my ruler, I'm sure it's more accurate than I am. So that's just a little over eight. So let's just mark that there at four, be near enough. And this one measures four, so let's mark that at two. And then we know where to where to stick it. So do I need anything behind that? before I stick it. Possibly not, this is a fairly straightforward, well it was intended to be a fairly straightforward um, page. So let's just stick that on there. I'm going to use colour. can't believe we got that result from three completely different colours. Just shows you, never give up. Right, let's see if we can get this then where we want it, just about there. About there I think. That looks square, squarish, yeah, lovely. Okay, that's great. Right, so now what I want to do is stamp some of my butterflies. These are the two I used for the last one. I quite like them actually. They just fit nicely on that page, on that size. So I'll probably use these two again, I would say. Do you know, I've just noticed that caterpillar there. I didn't even know he was there before. Um, right, so I'm going to put those on with stays on black. See if they want to stick on here. Yeah. I think I used my stamping platform for the last one, which is probably quite a sensible plan. I don't want it about there. Let's try there then. I'm going to cry if this is wrong. <laughs> no, it's right and it looks good. Looks nice. Okay. Uh, 
and the other one. These are Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous. I think they might be called Flutterbys, something like that. Some sort of generic name. Right, let's see if we can get that where we want it. About there, I think. Let's hope so. Let's hope so, anyway. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. I like that. It's really nice. Now, the decision I have to make now is, do I want to put some ink into those butterflies? And I think I might like to do that. So, let's put this away. I'm going to have to go on the wonder for a paintbrush because I didn't think about this earlier, of course. Of course I didn't. So let me just wander off for a paintbrush. Right. Okay, so um which colour do I want to paint these in? I might I'll try broken china. Because I'm newfangled with it, because I haven't had this colour before, so and it's it's quite bright. There we are. I'm not gonna put any water in that. I'm just gonna use it like that. I don't even know if this will work. But it might. I think it is. Yeah, I think that's working. That looks more bluey, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I don't even know why I want to do this. Just had the urge. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason as to what we do. It's just we feel it would look okay. There we go. That's nice. I quite like it. Right. Okay, let's do something with this one. I might paint this all over in this blue actually. Just paint the centre, just coming out a bit like that. Yeah. That's possibly a good idea. Just from his body, just coming out. I'll have a look in a minute and see what I think. I'm thinking of doing my videos, these sort of videos, at double speed, without any uh, input from me. So let me know what you think, because these, they always end up so long, these ones. That's not as dramatic. Maybe I do need to do all of his wings. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? Need some more ink in a minute. There we go. Right, so, oh, just missed a little bit down here, I think. Right, so there we are, I've got that and got that. So, uh, I'm going to paint his wings up there. So we've got two nice blue butterflies. Yeah, so yeah, just record it, put it out at double speed so you don't have to watch all my, you know, things like this. They'd be over in a flash, you wouldn't have to suffer it. Um, and not do any, um, you know, speaking or anything. 
So there's that option, or there's another option where I put it out at double speed and do a voiceover. So let me know which, you know, what, what you think of that, if, if you fancy the idea, and if you want speech or no speech. There we go. That's really nice. I really like that. I love all this um, splatter and stuff. Let's just add some water to that. Pick that up, splatter that as well. Splatter the whole thing. There we go. So yeah, I think, uh, I know that I was kind of trying to get uh, flowers on each one, but I really don't think this is a one to add flowers to, to be honest. I think that just says it all. It's not complicated, it's straightforward. I think you can have a good crack at this one. There's nothing, nothing too bad. So that will go in the book. And then we'll move on to the next one. But please, when you see this video, can you leave me a comment saying if you want it double speed uh, and if you want it double speed without just, you know, just music in the background or me doing a voiceover or, you know, let me know what you'd like. Anyway, I've enjoyed doing that. It's turned out rather nicely, really. So I'll see you all again very soon. Take care now. Bye.